Hey guys, I've had some comments. Uh, people wanting to know if there's a different way you got to clean these ops. Uh, some people call them flatheads than it is uh, cleaning the uh, blue cat or the channel cat. There is no different way to clean them. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, to me, these uh, ops is a little bit easier to clean than the blue cat is because their hide is a lot thinner and uh, it's easier to get off. I'll show you how I clean my Now on a real big op with a real giant big head on him you have two pieces of meat right here that you can get out of here and it's good eating. So there's two big pieces here that you can get out. It's not so much on these smaller ones just grab this little fin thing here down there at the bottom, same way. See how easy it is? And you want to come around here, just kind of work it around. They have really good, pretty white meat. I'm gonna pull this off up here and I'm gonna show you what I was talking about on the big flatheads. So you got a big piece of the meat right here. So these are small here, but they do get, on those bigger ones, you have a lot bigger and it's good eating. Now, when you clean these things, and it, all fish has it, when you clean them, a lot of times there'll be a little piece of skin, skin left on it. Get that off when, you, when you're uh, skinning it because it makes it it's tough. Just come right up close to the head as much as you possibly can because you don't want to leave no meat. You want to make sure you get all the meat that you can get. Now, when you gut these ops, see how their, their belly just lays out? Look how fat, fat this fish is. That fish is in really good shape. Just kind of scrape that down. Break his head back, push forward. Now he just comes out. All right, let me get this thing uh, washed up and then we'll show you how to flip. Okay guys, see how nice and comes out real nice and clean. 
See how, look, see how wide his belly is? He don't have the, the skim like a, uh, a blue cat does and a channel cat has got the old film, that gray filmy stuff. That uh, op don't have that. Uh, you don't have to clean that. Now, I did not mention earlier, a lot of times, you could, especially on those bigger ones, you can hang him up and then you want to bleed him out. It does better. Just take and put your cut cut a slot here in the side of his tail this side the same thing over here and bleed him out now if you don't do that and another way you can do is uh after you get him all cut up and everything uh put him in a bowl and uh fill it up with water and soak it overnight in water and it'll bring out that blood and stuff out of that fish too um just take these little fins here belly fins pull them out now up he don't he's not real thick right along here um, especially this size here uh, you got a, a whole most of his meat is going to be in his belly that's where he's his meat is going to be at down the same thing like you do the channel cat and the high fan blue just come down work yourself right down that backbone I'm gonna lay him up here where you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here just want to go around his down his back on his back into his ribs and just work it right around his ribs and you're not cutting actually having to cut his rib bones and dulling your knife as much see there's this piece here I'm going to show you the difference here. See, there's no, no waste of meat. Look at that. Nothing. Now, look how, this is his belly. Look how much meat you get here versus this here. All right, guys. Well, uh, and on, when you're cutting these fish up, especially these ops, these ops is, is a lot thicker than your uh, high fan blues are. You want to cut them up smaller pieces. And that way it'll fry whole, you know, all the way through and through. And that way you don't have sushi. I'm probably about uh, a half inch strips, half inch wide. Make sure they fry up good and done. Now, on this fish here, you see you got this skin here. Just run your knife in here. You just want to cut this out. Because like I said, it you can leave it, but it is going to be a little bit tougher. Just trim that out. You don't really lose no meat. No way. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get this thing fixed up here. and uh, But that's the way you do it on the ops, or the way I clean my ops. And I appreciate you watching my videos. And I've got a lot more out there. Y'all be sure to go through there and check all my other videos out. And y'all have a good day. And as always, if y'all see a veteran, please thank him for his services.